Hey everyone, this is Caitlin. And this is Lacey. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. So we've been on a bit of a break. This is season three of Women in the Trailer Industry, and we're really excited to be here. We are. So what's some updates in life, Lacey? You have a guest joining us today. So update. Baby's here, not in my belly anymore. Um, It was a great um, maternity leave. Um, Got to spend it with my family and really just soak in every moment of last baby and what that means and what it looks like for our family. And uh, just getting all teary-eyed thinking about it. But, um, you know, that final chapter. But um, so I'm back, and I'm so excited to be back. There's a lot of things happening. You know, it was, like, perfect timing because, like, New Year – Rolling out all the yeah. things, pedal to the metal. And so I'm just excited for all the things that we're going to be rolling out this year. Absolutely. What about you? Yeah. Um, like you said, new year and, and this year, I've just really tried to be more disciplined in like all areas of my life. So working on that, work in progress, not yeah. really a goal, but um, just something I'm working on. And we have a lot of good things in the work this year, so excited to see where those lead us. Absolutely. Um, we're gaining some great team members to hopefully yes. delegate and yeah. try to get some of the stuff off our plates so we're not losing our mind. And, you know, also just thinking about this time, so enjoy. Yes. The last <laughs> hurrah. Yes. Oh, look, he, he thinks it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> but this is Silas, um, and so... He is, uh, we have two daughters, like we said before, and and now we have our last baby. He's a son. Uh, We're excited to, I'm excited and very blessed that I get to bring him to work. You know, I got to be here um, throughout my pregnancy, took a great maternity leave, but we're back. He's going to be with me for a few weeks. So learning how to juggle that. Um, I think time is now more than ever, like, um, very it's like minute to win it. Oh my like, gosh. Every <laughs> minute. Like, like, yes. Even without a kid. All yes. that, so I was like, it's let me do like, this as fast as possible. Yeah. What can I fit into this five minutes? Yeah. Cause then I'm gonna have to do all the things after that. So yeah, it's, it's a, it's a change, especially trying to fit it all in, but, um, very blessed that I get to bring him a lot. Not a lot of people get to do that at their job. So this yeah. is, you know, a really good culture and atmosphere that we've created in that way. And when it gets a little bigger, shipping him off to daycare and, you know, keep, keep rolling but um yeah excited that we were growing our team and it's looking you know very um I don't know the sky's the limit almost you know yep and you know as much as I like things for to for things to be stable and steady I do think there is something to be said for change you know we always joke about Tyler who's the wrecking ball but that I think that's how he makes companies he makes is because he does insert those ideas and yeah. creates that change, although we're hesitant to it. But you have to keep changing to keep growing. Um, and that seems more important now than ever. Yes. A funny story, Lacey was like, can I bring Silas with me? And I'm like, really? We had our kids. You know, there are three <laughs> pregnant women at the same time up here. We all had our babies eight, day, eight days apart. Yep. And then... We had him up here pretty much all in the same office, you know. It was like uh, daycare slash work. (laughs) Shoot, three months? Yeah. Three to six months. So that was fun-ish. Yeah. (laughs) You know, know, I know you're glad to get out of that, you know. I'm looking forward to that too, you know. I think it's kind of scary when work is your sacred place. Yes. Like, you're like, ah. Yes. Silence. Exactly. Yeah. But I think that is the same for a lot of people too. I mean, that's your break to it's your it's not really your break it's your getaway to be like who you are and And, so yeah and like brain stimulus yes like I feel like it stimulates me but yeah anyways I digress but yeah really excited about all we have going on excited about the trade show this year there's some big things happening um at the North American Trailer Dealer Association hopefully I got that (laughs) yeah you rolled (laughs) it out love it forget about it but um what what it all means but I'm super excited for that um, and all the people we'll meet there and getting to go to Nashville again. And Yeah, we're excited about that. I mean, I feel like this year more than ever, uh, last year we kind of like, we talked a lot about it, like rolling out our new structure and what does that look like and, and you know, making goals and trying to reach mm-hmm. those goals. And this year it's like, all right, that's in place. We are, you know, in mock speed. 
So yeah. it nothing is slow at this yeah. point. We are no. like we are going pedal to the metal, getting stuff done, and yeah. with our really our focus on revenue and profit. And so it you know if you can give your entire company the mindset of that's what you're looking towards, then everybody can be kind of on the same page on their decision making and their day to day decisions about how they're going to work. Um, it, it plays into everything, but they they know what our goal is, where are Absolutely. we getting to, and that's so important. Yeah. And, you know, one thing we recently finished too was the budget. And so, you know, obviously we've done semi budgets right. for years, but this is kind of like a full blown budget. And honestly, we're a young company. This is, I say young, I mean, it's been 10 years, but this is new to us. Yeah. And so like really laying that out and knowing everybody's metrics, KPIs, expectations, non-negotiables, um, it's helpful. Yeah. And it's scary, it's scary, but I think it's more helpful for anything because then everyone has a guide like, yes. hey, we're off track, we're on track, where do we need to go, what do we need to do, et cetera. So. I think it totally just gives us clarity. Mm -hmm. And so we're not just like rolling the wheel and, and going through the motions. Like we are clear on what we need to get to and what that end goal is going to get us. And so it's just refreshing, yep. I think, to, to know those things. So what are some things that the audience can look forward to from us for this season of women in the trailer industry? Um, yeah, so we will be at NATDA this year. Um, again, um, we do have new team members coming on staff. Uh, we'll be talking about what that looks like. Um, and then, um, you know, growing and optimizing our markets, talking about the struggles with that, um, how we're going to get there quickly. Um, and then it really just what is our plan to focus on revenue and drive that profit? Yeah. And also we'll keep you updated on our cultural journey with implementing EOS and yes. what that looks like. I feel like we've done it for years now and but it's, it's only been three six, months. Yeah, it's so, Three or six months. Yeah. yeah. So there's that. It's been a lot longer for us, but for yeah. the team, it's only been three months. And then, um, you know, like you said, the trade show and then really just talking about discipline, what you need to be successful um, and the things that you can do to be successful in your workplace. So. Absolutely. All right. You guys stay tuned. We're, we're going to roll out a fun season this year. Yeah. Um, we're excited about all of it. All right. So like, subscribe wherever you follow your podcast and catch us next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.